been fun of a runaway train Just to feel alive again Pushing far through the night Aching just above the side It's so far, so far away It's so far, so You know what? I'm gonna ride this horse instead. Sorry, horsey. Give it up, Javier! Oh, nice, you got it. Nice. Where's know. Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with Agende. Agen? Allende? It's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. This will all be over soon. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. Oh! <laughs> Worth it. Worth yeah. it to replay this mission. We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Come on! You don't understand what happens. Bless it like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. Come on. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. That's it. Okay, I think we're good. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. Back together, oh. two crazy men sharing a bed. Go to hell, pathetic fool. <laughs> the Dutch never liked you, you know. I gave up caring about him or you a long time ago. Oh, oh shit! Shit! Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Did not life we had mean nothing to you? You guys left ah, me for dead, bro. Puto. Puto. Oh, one day, one day, I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Oh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're <laughs> still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army send reinforcements. Go. Yeah. Go with your puto. Puto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Two best friends in a the room. They might kiss. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Blackwater? Oh my god, we're going back to the scene of the crime. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I hate these policemen. So the conversation was mostly between Javier and me when I caught him. But, girl, that was worth it. Was it worth it? Let me work it. I put my egg back at the purse. It, it's your mother. And yeah, I do not know the tongue lyrics. <laughs> Wait, let's uh, do a mission. Arahari, yes. Oh, shucks, I don't have water. Never mind. We're gonna power through it. I like the poncho look for John. It looks really nice. Oh, by the way, I want to share with you guys. I got my first hype train on my stream. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I know it's not that big of a thing, but I'm <gasps> I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you guys. You guys are so sweet, you know, my viewers. You guys are the best. An appointed time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Oh my gosh! What in the world is happening? It's a civil war. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico. My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. And you think you could tell me what to do, friend? <sighs> oh, you should listen to him, friend. <sighs> Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> oh, John, you badass. <laughs> is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, Americano. Ya, ya, mátalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda. Huh? Ay, Dios <sighs> mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> oh my goodness! Oh shit, here we go again. We got it. Thanks, my brother. Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the coronel. Let me get the money first. Hurry, my friend, send me free. Man, I can't believe she's just dead. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Leave the speeches to me, John. You release the prisoners. Go to the chair. Oh, wait. Marchamos sobre la mansión de Allende. Amigos, tomen sus armas y peleen. Juntos, podemos devolver el poder al pueblo. Oh, okay, fine. I guess I'm going the wrong way. Oh, 
Oh, here it goes. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! We Gago! I wasn't even. I didn't even have my gun equipped. What is that bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> ah! I genuinely thought I would die in a duel and not because of that. No, let's make sure next time my. Mm -hmm. there we go. Maybe I should kill those policemen. Oh. Liberanos, amigo! Somos leales a Bram Reyes! Shoot the last of three prisoners. Cuidado! Wait, where's the locks? Shoot the doors! Give them open! Let's go, my friend! Reyes is getting ready to attack Linde's mansion. Idiota! Get it! Shoot! Dude, this is so risky. I feel like they're gonna run in front and stuff. Gracias, señor. Eres un amigo de México. Idiota. This ain't nice. I know. Yo, there's a lot of them. Oh, wait, there's a TNT over here. Man, the Gatling gun. Oh, okay, man, the Gatling gun. All right, got it. We will pass through the door with gunpowder barrels. We will set up the barrels. Wait for my signal. Oh, here. Do not shoot the powder kegs and glorious. Ahora, hermano, shoot the barrels. Tierra y patria. 
¡Ándale! This is fun. Can I borrow this, Brent? Traigan hachas! Echen la puerta abajo! The Gatling gun. Okay. Let's see how they like this. That was way too fun. Come on, we can still get to my stagecoach. Go then, I'll cover you. They're oh, the line, stop them. Catch Williamson. Okay. Vámonos, date prisa, cabrón. Come on, Joe. Let's get to the horse. I thought you was tough! Stand and fight! Come on, John. Vámonos, date prisa, cabrón. To the horses, go fight. We cannot let them get away. Give up, Williamson. I already got a squala. Go 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 Oh wow Hurry! If we ride fast we can still catch them! You must be the pendejos I keep hearing about! Yeah! Shoot! Here! 
Take Williamson. Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Huh? I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor. You bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred hick. Esta noche duermo en tu cama, cabrón. Oh. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. This country is so violent. <laughs> it's all my country as well. My country is pretty violent. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, John. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Louisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Oh, my God. Your peasant girl wife to be? Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Oh my Magnificent God. girl. Like riding a pompous bull in was amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. Hmm. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. <laughs> That's true. That's Good luck true. With the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Mona. Nice. Ooh, we're a famed gunslinger right now. Oh, well, let's go to Poppycock first. Yay, my black horse is here. From now on, you no longer get in trouble for stealing horses. <laughs> Love it. New items are now available to purchase from the store. Dude, that was such a good mission. But to be honest, I didn't think it was the last one in Mexico. I was like, I thought there would be one more and then Williamson. But nice. Nice. I thought Williamson and John would have much more of a conversation together. <laughs> but that's so good. What he said about Abigail was so foul and uh, like made me cringe a bit. Well, not just a bit. It made me cringe a lot. Oh, here we go. Puffy cop. Oh, not here. Are you the foreman, mister? Here we go. I got a package for you from a Mr. Tollitz. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. What was the delay? Trouble over in Nasalita. Army or rebels? <laughs> Politics, my friend, is for fools. Which is why we see so much of it down here. Land of Mora. It's in the way of real work. If you say so. Here's the money from Mr. Dalitz. I'll get this to the workers right away. That's quite a sum. <laughs> it must be valuable stuff. You have no idea, Gringo. 
No idea. If you would have known, you would have kept it all yourself. What is that? Go back to Poppy Cook. Let's go. Go. I feel like we're near already, so I kind of don't want to fast travel anymore. Well, are we near? Lol, JK. Let's just fast travel to Chibarosa. <laughs> and while we're at it, actually, let's save in the hotel. And save in the hotel and then get some rest. And change our clothes. Come on, don't keep me in suspense. Mr. Tollitz, I've got your money. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I damn well knew you were the kind of chap to be trusted. A fine fellow, sir. Fine fellow indeed. Unlikely to run off and report me to the authorities, what? <laughs> report what, Tollitz? Well, the Dagos here don't appreciate the terrible needs we answer. Now, building a country's hard, sir. It's hard. I opium's nasty business, but it's What? Necessary. Did I just sell drugs? Opium? What do you mean you didn't even sneak a taste of that package? <laughs> Are you mad, sir? That's fine stuff. Straight from Ongo Bongo land somewhere. <laughs> you use me. Are you a moralist or just a fool? Both, I guess. We provide a much needed service for the railroad workers. Oh my Help god, I am a drug pain and loneliness. Them beings are far away from home and all that. <laughs> but there's nothing uh. wrong with this. I've smoked it myself for years. I don't want any of your money. Here, Keep it. I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, I thank you. Here's hoping we can do business again in the future. Beats dealing with the bloody savages. If I'm not mistaken, our business is done here. Um, yeah, I'm just about to be. Damn, crazy. It, it didn't dawn on me that we got a thousand dollars. I actually thought we, our, our money was already in the 2000s for some reason. <laughs> Shit, that's a lot. That is a lot. Let's change outfit. I like this one, duster coat. And of course, let us go on again and take a nap or sleep, save the game, and then we're gonna go have a horse ride back to America in case music will start playing and stuff. I don't want to miss it. Okay. 
All right, well, there's this too. Lights, camera, action, so I guess we could travel to that first. I wish there was a cinema, a movie scene here, a movie hey, travel. You wanna make some money? I don't want. I don't want any more. I feel like it's just gonna make me steal something, and I don't want to do any more crimes in, Amer in America, in Mexico. Here we go. Border crossing. Nice! And now we're in America! It's that easy. I wonder why we didn't take this route Let's in the first place when we first stepped foot in Mexico. Okay. All right. It's just twenty-four dollars. Let's All try right. it. Out. You're on. Perfect. This looks like the one. Yeah, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. Okay, well, it seems like there really won't be any music that's gonna happen, so let's just fast travel to Lights Camera Action so that we can get there faster.
I'd hired you instead. Oh, it's this guy. What's Mr. That? McKenna, what are you doing here? Thought you were running a film company. Oh, Marston, how the fates have spurned me. The muses cajoled and lament my foolish nature. The hubris. The hubris. It gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. <laughs> Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts of vain men. Guess I'll have to go make dreams elsewhere. Nice. Good luck. It'll take more than luck to stop me. <laughs> That's cute. I'm so sorry to hear he basically ended up bankrupt. Oh, I know you! Let's do I know you. Me now, sir. I have a career to resurrect. Come on. Ah, say. Sorry. Didn't mean to. My bad. Kill the bulls. Let's go. What would this be like? <gasps> oh, what were you eating? Oh, it's the same. Okay, okay. What are you doing here? This is I think this is my home. This This is my home. Stop meeting like this, John. Ain't this a beautiful spot? Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. I'll know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Wait, did I purposely miss or what? Wait! Huh? 
Oh my god. Was that my subconscious or something? That's... What? Beecher's Hope. This is my farm. Okay, let's go to Agent Ross right now. Whoa, what does that mean? Am I dumb? You haven't completed the storyline for I know you will not encounter the stage again. Yes, many have. Damn you, this is a fine spot. What? Or unless I purposely missed to just try to scare him. I honestly have no idea. Yo, I remember this from Red Dead too. Ooh, it's so cool. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Come on. What's this stranger mission? Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. People can be real unkind. That's for sure. That's so true. I'm Clara. Oh, her needs to be a nanny. Our family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. My fool that I was, fell for him. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell. Or a dollar. I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. I'll see what I can do. Whoa, it's like... How she's showing, she's like one of the Sims. How she shows that she's pregnant. <laughs> find how them got money for Clara. Here he is. Oh, also, there's a wanted poster here. Well, you know what? I want to do the Agent Ross first. Wow, everything looks so nice. Oh, another stranger mission. Right over here. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is, in my business, the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. <laughs> now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? 
For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. Wow, they okay, had blackmail photographs back then. Me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. I didn't know. Oh, well, mm, they had. Mm. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Okay, 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 okay. Well, hurry along then. Hey, Wait, I want to do this one first. Bear one another's burdens. Whew. One oh one, one oh two, one oh three, one oh five, one oh. One oh I'm six. here to see Mr. Ross. One oh seven, one oh. Nine. Edgar Ross. One thirteen. Upstairs on the right. One fourteen. One fifteen. One sixteen. One seventeen. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. What are they? You want to take a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? You know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Okay. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. I mean, I don't mind that. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <sighs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest. I don't know if I like him. Let's we'll hope it doesn't not. go off by <laughs> mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, no. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. <laughs> and because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. 
Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. Oh. Sweet, sweet old grandpa. Five. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward! Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. Uh. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a whore. You best watch your damn Son mouth. of a whore. It's strange you should say that, Mr. Marston, because according to my files, you are the whore's son. Now, what else can I recall from the files? Oh, well, let's see. You killed hundreds of innocent people. You've robbed at least 40 banks that we're aware of. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. Uh -huh. This is all such a joke to you. I want my family. Oh, and I'm God. sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. Oh, that's so... <laughs> That sounds like a line a bad guy would say in a movie. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. Oh Wouldn't yeah, it's a car. Automobile, Mr. Marston. I just well, realized that. So convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? I just realized no. they're riding a car. See this, Mr. Fordham, the brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly, but still a dying breed, like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Maybe. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. Oh my god, and wait the till they discover the iPhone. Like you. not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Come on then, Marston. You're with me. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, so sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Wait, let me just take off this wave. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. 
That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. Someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here. Don't test me, Marston. How do I get up there? From here. I get up there. You? Ah, uh, there. Oops. Who is this? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant! <gasps> Gnosis, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think you can walk! Oh my God. Oh my God. Devil! Come on, we need to get him to safety! Oh shit! Anybody else? One of them. <gasps> Follow me. You shoot like Keep that women. man alive. I survive. The army is on its way. In God's name is going on. Damn, I need to move. Oh, he's still alive. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Whoo, we survived. I feel Let's so bad go. for him, though. How they found out he was the informant. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? It was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? Savage? Is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Oh my uh, god. Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant. Nostos. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then I they think... jumped us. <laughs> nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. It's 
especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some you such. You shut your mouth. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. So what now? What's gonna happen now? I can't believe it that I didn't notice that we were riding a car. I think I kind of just like spaced out. <laughs> I was like, we were just getting from point A to point B. Come on, not now. What's wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. Oh, it shit. It touches men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine. God help us. Take cover first. God damn it, boy. Shoot down. Why, why, won't, why can't I shoot? I couldn't shoot it just now. <sighs> wow, we just killed like 10 people. That's like 10 dead bodies. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Ooh. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. Oops. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. <laughs> it's not the automobile. The bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Uh, even if it was running fine, that still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. So what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderland soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. It's like I see both Come of their points, but... Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. I can think of far more upsetting alternatives. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. What? Racist! Here we this are. is their land, though. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? Good day, good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <laughs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. uh, we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. 
Aww. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Oh my god, the racism in this game. But then again, it's like... Good to see you, sir. It's a game. And they were basing this off of back then, which were much trying times. Ooh. Oh, the American lobbyist. Let's try this out. For this one too? Oh man. Oh, maybe we should buy this house over here. And save it. Save stuff. I kind of want to do a couple of missions. A couple more missions before I go. Hey, I'm coming in fast. Mister. Mm. You can brand me like a steer any time. Oh, what, what now? Oh, you haven't a lot in me. Wow, this place is. Oh. Excuse me. You know a girl named Clara? What's that? Is she one of the waitresses around here? Oh, he has an accent. Serving at your house. The only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. She left to join the people up north. No, she helped raise your children. You and her had an intimacy of sorts. Oh, look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Not to hear expressions against my character. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You put your mind, laddie, or are you just a common criminal? A nerve, are you? Oh, you think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, outside, no. What did I do? <laughs> just like. Mr. Marston, how are you? That's so. Not so fast, partner. Might I suggest you watch where you walk in the future, sir? Wait, where's the other one? You want a good time? Right here. My daddy was one of the first men to live in these parts, you know. Where is this question mark? Is it this one? That's kind of weird. Mind where you're going, lady? Pardon, monsieur. Howdy, mister. How do you do, sir? <laughs> nice. Hey, partner. Mr. Marston, hello. <laughs> Everyone knows me in this neighborhood. I love it. Also, I think it's glitching because he's not popping out here. So maybe I should just... I'm just gonna go and buy this property. Oh wait. Hey, Mister. You stay out of trouble. Mister Marston. Oh, nice. I like this room. <laughs> Let's go on ahead and save it first. The wrong woman. Old man Carruthers, why? Hundred and one cats in that hellhole. The stink. Oh, there he is. Duel him? Okay, fine. Let's duel him. Let's try it. Wait, do I kill him? I don't want to kill him. 
Let's just do his hands then. Oh wait, no, I did it wrong. I was trying to aim for his hand. Because I thought I'm not supposed to kill him, but it seems like I might have to just headshot him. Let's try it one more time. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, yeah. He did. May be able to give Clara. Oh, really? That's how we're doing it? We basically just killed someone's husband, though. Crazy. This is what the. So, see, this is why I'm kind of like torn between. <laughs> Not liking the cop and being fine with him. called at the city hall the other day, talking like he was the big man. Well, you told me something. Me. I did this. Six PM and seven. Oh wait, no, she's here. Soon my office will be complete. Eight hundred pages of consummate prose. Mr. Mostin, hello. Oh wow, everyone knows me here, huh? Six PM and seven PM. Alright. Then I guess we could just do a mission first. Dutch. Ooh. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, Tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes, a, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple. Pure. And I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. 
They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Uh, would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite no. a too. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> Oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on, uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Oh my slippers? God! Yeah, or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochine. Let's go. Oh I my God! Uh, marvelous! <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Dutch has been using the natives. Like it's connected to Red Dead too. Remember me. when Eagle Flies was like yeah. becoming a rebel and Dutch used that to his advantage? So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gotta kill him everything. too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> but anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Come on. See trees before? Mm, I thought I you were a this. brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Whoa, whoa. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Martin. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. What? Well. me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Primal? Really? Oh my god. I mean, Nastas isn't wrong. People have been cutting a lot of trees. <gasps> in this game. There's the cliffs. We'll leave the horses here and climb the rest of the way.
Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. What was the whole Enjoy point of him joining us? <laughs> Let's get moving, mister. Find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Okay. X marks the spot over here. Oh, Kratos, is that you? Upper body strength says what? Over here, might go through or up the mountain. Yes, look at this a mine shaft. Oh, what's inside? Oh, there's TNT. We're gonna be dealing with some bad guys here. This way! Bitch. Dynamite! Get out of here! Oh, oh. Are you okay though? If you don't stop that, you ain't gonna live! Son of a! Run away, pal! I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't oh, want to slow no, you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up. Or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlind. Good luck. Oh my god. All right, now I mean business. I don't even know Nasas. Like, we literally just met him like 30 minutes ago. But I like him. I like his character. He comes off as very strong and peaceful. Gosh darn it. I hate it. Oh. Is that a bear? 
Oh, it's a bear. Sorry, bear. Oh, but can I get something from you? Oh, also he killed the other people. Oh, wait, no, wait. That's a goat. Alright, let's get it. You stink! What this one? This will fetch a good price. Nice. That's what I like to do. Oops. How do I have the upper body strength for this? I freaking cannot. There you go. Oops. Skinned it accidentally. <gasps> oh, fuck you! It looked cute, but no man. I kind of saw it real. I I saw how it looked like a bit of a cat. Man, very cute though. Very cute panther. I'm so Break sorry. I had to kill you. You attacked me first. These these mountains are reminding me about the fin are reminding me the finale of Red Dead 2. <laughs> Not good memories. <laughs> Not good memories. Well, as long as I don't have my horse with me right now. <sighs> Let's not kill the eagle. Oh, wow, look at that. Why won't it let me use my... Won't let me... Do I have to sneak up behind him? Or do I push him off the cliff? I know it. Weapons. There we go. God damn it. What? How many do I have to 
it through at him. There's a shortcut for this because it has the arrows. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Scout Cochina with the bite down here. We're looking for evidence of touch. <gasps> oh! That's touch. No. What? Wow, he got old. How did he know? How did he know? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston? Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You <laughs> Cutie Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man. You are a very stupid man. <laughs> Gentlemen, Nastas. I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <clears throat> nice. All right, you guys. Well, I'll be ending today's episode on that. That was fun, though. Oh, I wonder... How much more we have left of the game. But this is exciting because we're basically at that part where everything's just kind of happening all at once now. And I can't believe that was Dutch. You sorry, mister. got all. Terribly sorry. Anyway, I'm having so much fun when we read that. And as always, if you guys like this video, do give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.